right, welcome everyone to the TGI edition of the Advocate News Meeting. I'm editor and publisher Chris Conway. With me as always to my left. I'm Becky Cooper, managing editor. And behind the camera. Tony Belandron, city editor. So Tony's manning the camera. So let him know what you think of the stories we're working on, any suggestions you have for stories we should be working on. That's why we come on every weekday just to have a chat with you, our legion of viewers. We've got a trivia question to get you warmed up. And, and those here in this room need to refrain from answering because this is one I think we'll get. Okay. So but we'll wait for everybody online to uh, guess about it. My friend Louie is watching. Hey. Oh, Louie. Okay, so Louie, who was the first African-American appointed to the U.S. Supreme Court? Da-da. Oh, Chris Collins is watching. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll type in hello so you can type in hello. and type That's in, an easy one. Type in your guess been the subject of movies recently. Even. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good movie, I thought. Really good movie. Um, didn't you? You like that movie? Yeah. Yes, right. I did. Too bad it just focused on one, one, one case. case. Yeah. Well, 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 that's you, not the one he's known for. You gotta pick it, something. Hey, Louis yeah. says hello. So, uh, in terms of stories, we've got a lot of good stories. We've got a story about um, Shih Tzu dog rescue up in the uh, Quero area. Um, and photos with that. Amber Aldaco, our education reporter, is at a the task force meeting for BSD. The first group uh, met. Oh, oh Louie already got the answer, but that's good. Yeah. All right. We won't say it yet. We won't say it yet because anybody else wants to jump in. Then uh, they apparently talked about enrollment trends and that, that some of the rural schools are definitely going down, which starts leading to questions about what they're doing with those rural schools mm-hmm. and. You uh, recall when they closed the school before? Yeah, many years back they closed the rural schools with the hopes of saving money yeah. and bringing, making the population inside yeah. city limits more um, even, and it didn't work, so they reopened. Re- they reopened the, the schools, and you know it's a community. They feel like they're it's a community out in the rural right. areas. And right, it's w- William Wood, um, Guadalupe, Guadalupe, and uh, Mission Valley. Mission Valley, so. We'll see. Well, Amber had a full story on that. If you've got questions, let her know or let us know. Claudia just joined us. How are you, Claudia? Um, we have a story we'll be updating today about uh, a Calum County deputy who was struck and injured in a hit and run crash. He was directed in traffic near Formosa and he got hit and he's airlifted to um, flown to Houston Memorial. When that happened? This, this morning. Okay, so that's already posted? Yeah, it's posted already, but we got to get the update sure. on. Um, well, and his name and condition, and, and, and then he the search for this driver, which I would think they find him pretty fast on Point Comfort, but yeah, bad deal. Uh, then uh, we have a story about three uh, Victoria County people arrested on murder charges related to the 71 year old man's death. Well, we think it is. Think we haven't been confirmed. Uh-huh. And then probably the press conference is at two. Mm-hmm. We'll we'll put it back here on Facebook <coughs> on our page. Um, so look for that there. That happens at. That happened Tuesday. Sunday, right? Sunday. Well, oh, it's okay. found Sunday. We don't found. know. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it was. Then an election update. City election Justin Royal, Justin Roy, sorry, has filed to run for council. Um, I'm not sure which, which district he's in. Super District. Six? Whichever one Dr. Young is. Oh, okay. So he's going to oppose Dr. Young? Yeah. Okay. Then... Um, a, that that that, race, that whole council race is really going to be pretty active, yeah. yeah. Well, if, if he is what if you're going against Dr. Young, then that would make every race contested. Yeah, because wow. Mark Lofgren's against um, Zach Smith and mm-hmm. the other council race, and then of course we know we got three, three in the mayoral race. race. Yeah. That'd be good. That'd be good. Yeah. Yeah. And Tom Halapaska is not running. He's not running right. right. I forgot to tell Louie that. Louie works with uh, Tom Halapaska's niece, I think. Well, cool. yeah. you just told him now. Yeah. If he's watching, he knows that. All right. There you go. Aaron just joined us. How are you? And then in the faith section, of course, we've got a story about a woman who uh, uses her faith to help get bodies in shape for the new year. Mm-hmm. She's a licensed nutritionist and Zumba instructor on started her own small business to lead women to a healthier holy temple. And then we got all our other regular uh, faith items. You just read Jennifer's Revelations column. Which yeah, is, she's talking about uh, never giving up on your dreams. 
Yeah. She and her husband spent took a trip to New York this past week when it was three degrees and. And at one I'd point, give up on that dream. Yeah, well, and she talked about everything they were doing. She said at one point he stopped and said he didn't think he'd ever be here. I mean, he he always dreamed of coming to New York, but uh, he never thought he would because Tunisia was so far away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So never give up on your dreams. January in New York. I used to go to <laughs> yeah. I used to go to the Associated Press uh, managed editor meetings in New York in January. Mm-hmm. Oh, it could be pretty brutally cold some of those mm-hmm. Januarys. Yeah. What do we got here? Sadie just joined us. What are you looking at? Oh, Louis' comment. Uh, well, the answer, or what else do you say? Oh, no, no. Uh, uh, Jalapasca makes the best pina colada cookies. Oh, I missed that. I, missed I don't that think I've ever had anything bad. So, yeah. Yeah, everything in there is good. Yeah. If you like pina colada. I don't like that song. You don't like that song? Why are you singing? Well, you know, know he's talking her. about cheating on his woman. Why? Yeah, they're, and both, they're, they're both, both cheating. They're, they're both cheating. cheating. Each other. And then they meet, and it's like, oh, everything's oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I forgive you. You forgive me. Okay, let's go on. It's a sappy, stupid song. <laughs> it's like, this should be a f- out it's violence at this point. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's you. It's my old lovely lady. Whatever, yeah. She said, oh, it's you. Oh, it's you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a weird song. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm jiggling the camera. <laughs> Louis started that with pina coladas, so, so sorry. Okay. Uh, you're ruining pina coladas for me. Um, yeah, we have a whole series of local items uh, happening, and uh, in sports, we got a story about East Soccer uh, playing at Corpus Christi Carroll, and Calhoun is playing against East in basketball. And UHV baseball. Ooh, they, they actually play mm-hmm. today. Definitely cold. I can't. Um, ooh, that'd be brutal in the wind and the cold. Louie, it's forty-one degrees here right now. That's crazy We're cold. We're freezing. Us. We're freezing. That and I and I wore my heavy coat here to work. Ooh. Yeah. And I think I stunned it's, Becky <laughs> when I walked in with it. Yeah, we'll do the weather report. It's supposed to be pretty cold tomorrow. Then in the sixties on Saturday and uh, Sunday, I mean, and then warmer next week so and it's supposed to rain all weekend yeah it's not gonna be a nice weekend but but it'll be in the 70s next week it's fine yeah it doesn't, all i care is it doesn't get out of freezing at this point so we exactly. don't and all the trees oh. will start blooming and then we'll have one last freeze and then no when I, we're done with freezing here. <laughs> i wish it'd be nice i think we are mm. if this cold snap is not even hitting freezing what else is gonna happen february's not over with you is it not today's the ninth Hey, hey, it's my mom's then, birthday. Happy birthday, mom! Oh, happy birthday! I don't know if she ever watches, but <laughs> didn't Punxsutawney Phil say spring was coming early this year? I think so. I think so. Yeah. All right. Well, on the state digest, I don't have it in front of me. Although there was a police say a Texas woman used her granddaughter's scooter to v- defend herself against a pair of machete wielding men wearing clam- clown masks who attempted to rob the woman and her husband. Wow. Could that could they con- pack any more weird stuff into one brief news story? She used her granddaughter's scooter to defend herself against a pair of machete wielding like who's, who's who's out wielding machetes? But men wearing clown masks of all things uh, who attempted to rob her. But so there you got there's clowns with machetes. That's under, a great the picture. picture yeah. And she grabs a scooter and swings it at them. What is happening here? I, like a TV show. I, gotta, I gotta read the rest of that story. <laughs> there was a story on TV news last night about a woman who was setting up for a garage sale. A man walks up to her, they have a brief conversation. He shoots her, or he or she, shoots her point blank and leaves her to die. In her own Did she survive? No, she died. Oh. She died. Oh. She died. Oh. She I saw it. it in Houston area. And there's video of that too, yeah. isn't there? Yeah. That got, got caught on someone's camera, security yeah. camera. And that she was ready to have a garage sale to raise money for her, so she and her husband could take an anniversary trip. That was bizarre. Yeah, that was bizarre. Oh, crazy world. Yeah. Crazy world. I would say you still could have garage sales, but there are crazy people everywhere. I guess anything can happen. Anything can happen, but you think garage sales are safe, you know? Can't think. Not anymore. Well, that's it. Uh, National world, anything else to talk about? I'm trying to see. Was there anything big on the news? The Virginia guy. Uh, is everybody ineligible to be in office in Virginia? I lost track. I lost track. 
My yeah. question is, and sucks I to be in Virginia. Yeah. I, I don't agree with the blackface and all the racial stuff. I don't agree with that at all. But if the country can forgive a Supreme Court judge now for his childhood antics, why can't the people in Virginia forgive the governor for his childhood antics? Good question. Good, good question. question. I actually think it would be a good story to do here is when was the blackface performances last kind of widely accepted and write a sort of historical piece about that. I'd like to find any ads or coverage of such a thing. Yeah. I think it'd be interesting to do a story. You know, sometimes I will, so there's, there's a lot of things that, you, you, uh, I watched some YouTube a few weeks ago, Johnny Carson, Yeah. you know, and some of his guests and they made some really outrageous comments about blacks yeah. that I thought, wow, if he said today, Johnny would be like really in trouble. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and I mean, he, he was having guests on like Don Rickles and, yeah. and like, well, even Nipsey Russell. I don't know if you remember yeah, that I remember comedian. Him, I mean, he kind of played into it because back then it was just this for him, it was self deprecating and, right. and Johnny just played into it. And, and it's like, wow. You really went that far. Back then, in, in a different era, it was seventies, like yeah, more acceptable. Yeah, even though it, it, we were still crawling out of the yeah. the r- racial pit that right. that the country was in. Yeah. Anyway, but you know, we're falling back into that pit. I don't yeah, know what. Yeah, um, I don't know why. What is it? What else we got? James, James join us. What do you got? Comment? I didn't oh, see. Louis, uh, did you see Louis' last comment? I didn't see it. I just saw Albert's. Really, I'm not getting them all. It says Mary Poppins is under fire for blackface from the soot on her face. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. I that think that's going. Sweet. It wasn't Mary. Yeah. Was I think that's going too far. Was she? Did she? Was she that she, way in the movie? Yeah, during that song and dance, she was. Oh, you song. mean the the original Mary Poppins? Yeah. yeah Mary, oh, Julie Andrews. Julie Andrews and Dick Van Dyke. They had soot on their face, and then the chimney sweeps were all black. Oh my God. Yeah, so they're being accused of doing the blackface. Oh, that's. I don't know that. That's yeah. a little. You're keeping up with Mary Poppins I'm, I'm controversy? Keep, no, I'm not. I'm not keeping up with that. So I I didn't know that. I didn't hear that. Huh. Because even well, one of the that's characters story I'm talking about doing locally here, even all the more, it'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. One of the characters in the movie even comments that they think they're from Africa or something like that. Oh. The, the chimney sweeps oh. because they're dark. Oh. Well, you know, um, I wonder how that got in, but you know, Disney um, put away out. Song of the South. Yeah. You'll never find that on released on any. DVD or Blu-ray. They Disney. Want, they this, want that scene in today's light. Huh? They want Song of the South well, put away. Uh, Al Jolson, jazz singer, nine twenty-seven. Wasn't he blackface? That yeah. Was, yeah. Yeah. That's the whole. So that that was obviously twenty-seven. Ninety twenty-seven. Yeah. Ninety twenty-seven. Done. Yeah. When they were still, well, they were they were doing their front lawn justice. Uh, right. <laughs> yeah. For uh, a lot of African Americans. Right. They they claimed. All right, then, uh, so back, this fits with Black History Month. That's why this question is. Oh. Uh, who was the first African-American appointed the U.S. Supreme Court? Louis already guessed it. It's Thurgood Marshall. Mm-hmm. Quite, a, quite a lawyer, civil rights lawyer, and uh, justice. Quite a... You know, I have um, a one-act play on Blu-ray that Lawrence Fishburne portrayed Thurgood Marshall, and he talked, and, you know, this isn't, recorded in Washington. It's a really good play. And he talk he talks about uh Lyndon Johnson calling him in. So it was Lyndon Johnson's idea to appoint him. Yeah. And and of course he 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 does the voice of Lyndon Johnson who is just cussing up a storm. It's like, "My god, you know how much hell you put me through to get you on the Supreme Court." And Marshall says, "Well, Mr. President, it was your idea." Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, what's our poll question? Should we ask about the Virginia governor? What should, what would be a question related to that? What, what should, should the Virginia governor do? Um, the accusations he was he posed, or he did white face, black face comedy in college. Or how about what, what should um, should performing black face in college? be a reason to remove whatever his name is from the Virginia governorship yeah, or something like that. 
But you know, well, he's he first part of part of what's the problem for him too is also that he he backed out of it. He said, "Yeah, that was me. I'm sorry." Then he says, "Oh no, that's not me." So it's like what? It was on his, it was on his page. Yeah, it's on and his then page. the the yearbook uh, per coordinator at the time came out publicly and said, "Yeah, I we coordinated that yearbook, and you were able to submit any photos." Yeah. Uh, and then he said he can do, he used to do Michael Jackson and Moon Dancing, and they asked him to do it, and his wife said it's not appropriate at this point. Yeah, during his press conference. Yeah. Uh, Mary Cantu Patterson says hello. Hi, Mary. Um, um say what what should he do? Options are resign, uh, stay in office and apologize, which I guess he did. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Remain in office and apologize <coughs> so far. What else what are other options for him? Uh yeah, step down, stay in office, apologize. Yeah. Do community service in a soup kitchen. Governor, you're not doing community service yeah. penance. I guess I'm gonna penance not really community <clears throat> service because it's not a crime, but um. no, it's it's to help him remember how the the regular people live. Yeah. But now he needs to apologize twice because if it turns out to be him, then he's he's really lied today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll just say other please specify in the comments that old thing. So resign, remain in office, and apologize. I guess we remain apologize office and not apologize, but okay. why don't you throw in there run for president? Run for president <laughs> <laughs> There you go. There you go. All right. Well that's that's it for now. If you have news tips, news questions, news comments, uh, give us a call here in the newsroom at five seven four one two two two. Peace out.